Right. So in continuation of session 7, in session 7 we discussed about the first order low pass filter. In session 7, continuation as a part, we will derive for second order low pass filter. So the question is, design a second order Butterworth low pass filter having upper cutoff frequency as 1 kilohertz. So we have to design a circuit of second order low pass filter with the frequency 1 kilohertz. So we know the diagram. Based upon the diagram, we have to find the value of R, C, RF as well as RI now. So before we go into the problem, we have to know the normalized expression Butterworth filter polynomials. So these are all the denominator equations. So if I see the first order cases, we'll have the denominator expression as Sn plus 1. Similarly, if I see the denominator equation for second order low pass filter will be like Sn square plus 1.414 Sn plus 1. Similarly, this goes to the order of up to 8. So in the examination point of view, the questions may be arranged from order 1, order 2, order 3 as plus up to order 4. So we have to remember the equations up to the range of order 4. And we have also seen like the damping coefficient like alpha. So the here we have derived for the second order low pass filter that alpha value that is the damping coefficient value as alpha is equal to 1.414. So if they ask in the questions like a second order low pass filter means we should remember that alpha value is something about 1.414. If it is a third order filter we have like alpha value as 1. If I if they ask for the fourth order filter means we have two sets of equations like two sets of polynomial equations. In the first set, the alpha value is nothing but 0 0.765 and for the other equations is nothing but 1.848. So based upon this alpha value, we have to substitute in our respective equation for calculating our gain value now. Okay. So now we start the problem now. So from the given uh, questions, they have given the data of only FH is equal to. So FH is equal to 1 kilohertz and we know the formula is nothing but 1 by 2 pi RC so we have we have the data of only FH so we need to have either R or C so mostly for this cases we will have the assumption of only C so the previous example I have assumed that C value is nothing but 0 0.001 microfarad. So in this problem, I will assume C is equal to 0 0.1 microfarad. Now, we will substitute this C value in the given formula so that we can find what is the value of R. Therefore, R is equal to 1 divided by 2 into pi into FH into C. So if I substitute all these values, so 1 divided by 2 into pi into FH is nothing but 1 kilohertz. So 1 into 10 to the power of 3 into C is nothing but 0 0.1 microfarad is nothing but 10 to the power of minus 6. So if we solve for this, so 2 into pi into, so this is just 1 only, so I'll take this as as such and into 0.1 sorry so 2 into pi into 1 into 0.1 so in the denominator I have like 0 0.62 thing so I'll take this as 1 divided by the answer that is the denominator which is nothing but 1.59 approximately in the denominator we have already seen the calculations like 10 to the power of 3 and 10 to the power of minus 6. So the denominator I have now 10 to the power of minus 3. If that goes to the numerator, it will become as 10 to the power of 3. Therefore, 1.59 into 10 to the power of 3, which is nothing but 1. Point, this final will take it as approximately as 6. So 1.6 kilohertz. Therefore, R is equal to 1.6 kilohertz. Now, in the sec in the given questions, they have given one more part as like second order. So second order in the sense n is equal to 2. 
So n is equal to 2 means we should remember the our what is our normalized polynomial expression now. So for n is equal to 2, for n is equal to 2, see our equation is a normalized expression sn square plus 1.414 sn plus 1. So in this, so this 1.414 is nothing but our alpha value. So we are going to assume now alpha is equal to 1.414. So therefore we will substitute this value now here. So for n is equal to 2, the damping coefficient factor alpha is equal to 1.414 that is from the equation sn square plus 1.414 sn plus 1 right now the pass band gain formula is nothing but we assume in our second order derivation a naught is equal to 3 minus alpha we have already know what is our alpha value so just substitute that alpha value so alpha is equal to 1.414 so 3 minus 1.414 which is nothing but 1.586 we'll check out in the calculator also so 3 minus 1.414 is nothing but 1.586 so therefore a naught that is the pass band gain is nothing but 1.586 now we will substitute this in our uh, uh, general transfer function equation h of s is equal to general transfer function is nothing but for our second order low pass, low pass filter a naught divided by sn square plus alpha sn plus 1 what is our a naught? 1.586 divided by sn square plus alpha is nothing but 1.414 sn plus 1 right now we need to find our uh, gain calculations right that is what our ri value as plus rf value so for that the gain formula a naught is equal to 1 plus rf divided by ri so from the previous step we know what is our a naughts and in the last problem also we have assumed that ri value is equal to 10 kilohertz so we'll have the same assumption let's assume ri is equal to 10 kilohertz. So, I'll first I'll substitute 1.586 is equal to 1 plus RF divided by RI and take this one to this side. So, this will become as 0 0.586. So, RF divided by RI. Therefore, RF is equal to 0 0.586 into RI. Now, I'll substitute the value of RI therefore 0 0.586 into 10 into 10 to the power of 3 therefore rf is equal to will be approximately like 5 into 86 kilohertz so we know we have assumed that r is equal to 10k we have got the value for rf is equal to 5.86 kilohertz now now with this value we have to draw the circuit diagram in that circuit diagram we have to label all the values for second order filter we have two RC section of a pairs so the design for second order low pass filter so the feedback connection and the input resistance so what is our feedback RF value 5.86 kilohertz and RI value we have assumed as 10 kilohertz so in the input side we have the resistance and capacitance is this the first pair the resistance and the capacitance as second pair so we have two pair the inputs vi so commonly we have derived this r is equal to 1.6 and c is equal to 0.1 microfarad so 1.6 kilohertz 1.6 kilohertz and 0.1 microfarad 0.1 microfarad so now we have designed our circuit now so sometimes in the questions they may ask like to find the magnitude values if they ask to find the magnitude values also we know our formula so we will recall our formula the magnitude is the modulus of h of j omega is equal to a naught divided by root of 1 plus f divided by fh power 2n so this is our magnitude 
equation for second order low pass filter so n stands for the order a not stands for the gain f is the given input frequency fh is nothing but the higher cutoff frequency now so for various values of frequency we need to find what is our gain value now so this frequency value as our like like our laboratory sections we have to start from the lower frequency we have to keep on increasing the frequency from hertz to kilohertz and to the megahertz and the higher ranges of frequency now so this f will be keep on varied this f is from the given questions no so we'll find the gain from the magnitudes so first i'll have one set as frequency the other side gain in terms of magnitude so first i'll assume that the input frequency like f is equal to 100 and we know the magnitude equations is nothing but 20 log a naught divided by 1 by root of 1 plus what is the given f 100 and what is our uh, question from fh so fh is nothing but 1 kilohertz that means 1 into one, uh, one, uh, 10 to the power of 3 is nothing but like approximately 1000 hertz so we'll substitute that also here as 1000 and the power is something about 2 power n what is our order we are solving for here second order therefore 2 into n is something about 4 so I have given the power value as 4 so if I solve the value for denominator so this is approximately this is double zero and double zero get cancelled so here I have let the value like 1 divided by 10 so this is approximately like 0 0.001 therefore if I solve this 20 log and what is our A0 from the problem? A0 is something that we have taken as 1.586. So we'll substitute that also here. So 1.586 divided by root of 1. So this is mostly it's approximately approximately like equal to 0. So this term will become as a 0. So in the root I have only as a 1 now. So if I do this calculations. I'll be having the value is approximately as yes, 4. If you want to see this, we'll check in the calculator also. So 20 log 1.586 is nothing but 4. So for the frequency 100, for the frequency f is equal to 100, we got the gain value as 4. Similarly, as like this, we have to find for f is equal to if I take f is equal to 200 so for this also the value of your gain will be approximately 4 and if I calculate for uh, f is equal to uh, 500 the gain value would be approximately 3.74 and if the input frequency f is equal to 1000 the gain value will be 1 because this 1000 by 1000 will become 1 so again I will be having the uh, root as uh, root of 1 plus 1 so I'll solve for this calculation for the frequency so this is nothing but like a 20 log 1.586 divided by root of 1 plus 1000 by 1000 becomes 1 so 1 plus 1 this is root so therefore this becomes 20 log 1.586 divided by root 2 so we'll solve this calculations now so 1.586 divided by root 2 in this value that is a uh, 1.1 uh, 1.12 so 20 log the answer is approximately 0 0.99 so this is 0 0.99 value are taken as 1 now so similarly if we go for other frequency like uh, 5000 your gain value will be approximately like at minus 23.95 and if we solve or the frequency if I take the frequency f is equal to 10,000 and your gain value will be like 35.99 so this is our frequency various frequency value for various frequency value we got the different kinds of 
gain value now. Now based upon this we are going to plot the graph. So if we plot the graph, the graph will be like approximately it's like decreasing. So initially we got the gain value as 4. So 4 will be approximately here. So from the positive value we have keep on moving like from 4 this comes to uh, 3, comes to 1, then 0 and then to the negative value. So your graph after your cutoff frequency value is going to start decreasing approximately. Right? Thank you.